Why, hello everybody, this is Matthew here, and I am back with another Desktop Dungeons Let's Play video. Now, I'm gonna actually have some... I'm gonna actually uh, end up looking at my uh, at my commentary list, my thingy thing thing. And, okay, so, on my commentary list, I only have one thing. SimCity 4. Future LP and also an awesome game. And I do think SimCity 4 is an awesome game. Uh, if you don't know, SimCity 4 is the, obviously, the fourth success f successor to the original SimCity game. And it's published by Electronic Arts and designed by Will Wright, who also designed all the other versions of the game. I think except for the last two versions of the game or something like that. But anyways, SimCity 4 is a city building game. And it differs from the older versions because this time you have regional gameplay where all your cities are kind of in one region and you can control trade between, not really control in detail trade between each city, but you can make neighbor connection, but you can make connections by roads between the two neighbors and, you know, you can have like trash exported to one city or like one city has a bunch of industrial like factories and manufacturing and sludge pits <laughs> and everything in it while and then it's a road connected to a city where it's all residential and it's all clean or it might not necessarily be clean if it's kind of like slums and run down old you know low wealth neighborhoods but anyways what you do is you start out with a city and in in this region you know you can you can get randomly generated regions and they have cities of different sizes the small city is one kilometer wide and it, I think the middle one is two kilometers and the largest one is four kilometers so <laughs> you have you know with the, say you choose a large city you have the largest square 16 square kilometers and you can and, I, and I'm not exactly sure how much each tile is but it's kind of like tile based where e each piece of road takes up tile and each piece of a building takes up tile and so you have roads and you connect residential zones which is where houses are built just randomly you know randomly built just depending on like what what resources are available to those houses and there's commercial zones where shops and offices are put up and then there's industrial zones where factories and you know high-tech companies and all, all that stuff is kind of contained and I don't think there is a building called a sludge pit, but it essentially turns into a sludge pit if you have too much industry that's putting out a lot of pollution. And um, let's see, what what you really um, what there really is no goal to the game. It's kind of like Minecraft as a sandbox game, or kind of kind of like Terraria as a sandbox game where it's there's no real goal to it. I mean, I mean, you can set yourself a goal. You can say, oh, I want to build a city with. 300,000 people living in it, or I want to build a city that has only high wealth residencies, or so something like that. It may take a while, but it's a really good use of your time, because you really have to balance out everything, because if you have residential, you also need a little bit of commercial, so they can, you know, they can do their shopping, and you need little bits of industrial, and you need a bit more industrial as well for and industrial is really the main source of jobs in the beginning of the game. And towards towards the um, towards like the later stages of when you're playing into it, like if you play it for like 24 hours straight, in the later stages you'll get to a point where kind of industrial demand kind of stems off, and you need more commercial. However, you'll still need little bits of industrial zones, and it's really hard to explain unless you see the game itself. Because there's just so many aspects to the game that are really hard to explain where you go, oh, you place, place, you know, 100 simoleons worth of road. If someone is new to that, new to the game, completely new to the game, and they've nev absolutely never seen it before, they will have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. But say, like, you make a video or you add pictures, you, they or, like, the, they have the game themselves, they kind of get kind of um, a view on what what the what the gameplay is like and how the gameplay goes along and 
what you're talking about when you're saying place this many tiles of road or you know a bunch of you know like 20 residential zones or have like dirt have your have agricultural zones you know in this corner of the city and then make sure that you have police stations and fire stations and water towers and that's actually the police stations and fire stations are a really straightforward part of the game but it, it does get really complicated and I suggest you check it out it, it is an older game. It's from, gosh, I don't even remember when it's from. It's from, like, 2004, I think. I think it was published in 2004. Let me go check it out, because I do have a computer here, and I do know how to use Google. So, instead of sitting here floundering, wonder, oh, what am I supposed to do? Let's search it up. Sim City 4. Of course, Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia. And it was released in actually in 2003 its original uh, was released for the PC on January 14th 2003 and then on June 20th 2003 it was released for the Mac and actually whoa uh, kind of recently it was released on Steam and actually that's how I originally bought a CD copy for like $15 from my school you know they were doing the thing with Scholastic and uh, you know the book fair and all that stuff and I bought a copy for $15 but eventually that copy got scratched. Uh, my family really is not good with CDs. Uh, CDs aren't safe for long in my house. So it was really good that I actually, one, actually one night I was browsing Steam and I was searching up, oh, I wonder if SimCity is on here. Well, it turns out that SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition, which is the version that I had, um, it turns out that it was it was there on Steam for twenty dollars. I mean, it was five dollars more, and you know, I was giving them even more money for something that they developed years and years ago. But it was worth it. I love SimCity. I actually have not played it recently, but I like within the first couple of weeks I played it for like ten hours. So, <laughs> um, which actually is a lot less than I uh, than I used to play I used to play it for hours on end because it was the only game that I really played and was the only game that I knew of and it was it was really the only game that I could actually run but anyways the system requirements aren't really the the most so I can kind of uh I can kind of, my computer my old cruddy laptop can actually handle it <laughs> So, you know, it needs a 500 megahertz Pentium 3 processor, you know, Windows 98 or better, Mac OS X 10.2 or better, 128, well, 256 megabytes of RAM for XP, but gigabyte hard space, hard disk space, and gosh, the world files are just absolutely enormous. You would not believe how much space is taken up on my hard drive by those ver by those, like, well, not worlds, by those cities. You need a 32 megabyte DirectX 7.0 compatible video card. <laughs> I got that covered. I have uh, the video card, if you did not see in, or did not hear in one of my last videos, was a, is a ATI Mobility Radeon 7500. It has 32 megabytes of video RAM and is DirectX 9.0C compatible, actually, so it's <laughs> it's a much newer version of DirectX and I think it's just the drivers that are kind of giving it an, uh, an interface to DirectX 9 so I'm sure the video card itself like supports really old, a really old version of DirectX but whatever enough about that um let's see I've I've actually filled up nearly the entire commentary talking about this and let me talk about the, my game of desktop dungeons a bit. I am playing as... Oh, uh, gosh, my mom is mad about something. Uh, if you couldn't hear her, I am an elf wizard. And the elf doesn't really matter, but the wizard it was terrible. Because I did not have any health. My attack strength was terrible. And even with skill glyphs... Skill glyphs... Skill glyphs... Skill glyphs... Especially the Burn Day Raz or whatever it's called, it didn't really help me much actually, which wasn't good. So, 
just to spoil it, just to get you guys mad and to spoil the outcome of this ma math of this map, <coughs> I did die. So, um, and then I realized that I wasted a potion when I had full mana, and I was like so mad at myself. I'm like, ah. And actually, ta speaking about, um, I'm sure you might have noticed that my frame rate went up quite a bit, actually, and. I think that was due to me using um, using a thumb drive to record instead of just instead of just um, uh, instead of just recording to my hard drive, which is a 5400 RPM hard drive. So it it isn't the best. It really isn't the best, and I ended up suiciding right there. So um, yeah. I'm Matt, and I will, uh, I'll see you in my next Desktop Dungeons Let's Play video.